up guys? Uh, Spencer Didi here with the Adventure Box. This is my uh, Adventure Box van uh, that I built up and gonna give you a tour today. So let's go check it out. So the chassis is a Ford Transit chassis, you got the 3.7 V6 in it, uh, I've got 130,000 miles on it now, bought it with 98,000 a year ago, and uh, it's a one piece fiberglass box made by Unicell, and uh, I bought it like that, um, but they make, make boxes, and um, it's been really good, get about out of 12 miles to a gallon-ish, I got big tires on it, um, all train tires, and uh, those have been really good. And then the inside uh, is got leather seats, uh, got the nice radio uh, with Apple CarPlay and all that. And uh, yeah. So moving to the back, I cut a window in. There's another one on the other side and a door. And a door. Um, the back, it's got a garage door in the back that I actually really like. And um, but yeah, this is the garage. I can pretty much put whatever I want in it. Uh, I got skis up here. And these are uh, ski snowboard racks too for getting multiple on. And then bike, and then these, these go up like this. And then clip in your tires like that. And I, I got two more back there. Um, get as many bikes as in here as I want really. As many that will fit. And then I got these that clip in for dirt bikes. They clip in just like this. And you can get dirt bikes in here. I can get three pretty easily. Uh, they fit underneath the loft right here. The handlebars do. So I can get one uh, backwards, forwards, backwards, and get three dirt bikes in here pretty easy. And then mountain bikes. And I put jet skis in here. I take this to go mow lawns. I got a riding lawn mower. Put the mower in here. Uh, it's an eight foot garage, so you can fit a lot of stuff. And uh, the bed's like up top right there. And, and then back in here, back in here, I got a diesel tank back in there, and a little two gallon ish diesel tank that powers a diesel heater that vents out the back right there. And uh, so I can dry all my gear, hang it, I hang all my ski stuff, and like anything wet from these. And then the, the heater dries everything out really good and uh, makes it makes it really nice uh, for winter time or you know off season riding jet skis or whatever dry wetsuits towels swim trunks whatever and then right here you got water water hookup air compressor um, that works really good So right here, got my water hookup. Just plugs in there, and then got a pump, and then a tank underneath. So in the summertime, when it's not freezing, I can have a little outdoor shower to hose off, you know, whatever. Uh, and then air compressor too. It just plugs in right here. Uh, filling up bike tires, filling up van tires, you know, whatever. It'll pump up to like 37 inch tires continuously. So that works really good, and. Trailer hitch too, had that uh, welded on by a guy. And so just pull small trailers. I don't like pulling anything too big, but you know, jet ski trailer. Put a dirt bike hitch rack on here if I need to get an extra bike. Uh, yeah, whatever. Moving on to the front, we got, I got a collapsible ladder here that takes us to the roof deck. So come check out the roof deck. Oh, this is the roof deck. I got my two solar panels. I got two uh, 200 watts. So I got 400 watts up here. 
and a roof vent and that's been plenty of power for uh, what I do and uh, then the roof deck just aluminum frame uh, that's actually VHB taped to the roof and then cedar decking on top and I got tie down points over here if I want to strap anything up to it uh, yeah pretty much you know if I want to put a surfboard or put a bike up here if I really wanted to or whatever uh, or a guest bedroom pitch a tent up here get more people uh, whatever so then yeah, we can head into the front. I got just some uh, truck camper steps. A little bit off right now because I'm parked on a curb. But uh, they just mount up here. They collapse super easy like that. And then um, I'm take them off, put them inside, then put them back on. Uh, yeah, they work really good. I didn't want to cut in actual steps just, just because it would have been a pain, but these work really good. And I'd cut in this RV door too. Uh, I just bought it. There's nothing on the sides, and there's just two shelves on the inside when I got it. So, um, yeah, cut the door, cut the window in, cut the roof vents in, and that's about all the cutting I did. And then here's the inside of the van, the little adventure box. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. Kind of just like nice dinette over here, you know, uh, fridge and stuff over here. This dinette folds into a bed. These pop off the back here. Pop off the back here and then go slide in like this. And that one does too. And then this just uh, goes over here on the wall here behind all my coats. On another mount here, you can get that out of the way. And then sleep another person or two here. This is where I slept on our trip that we went on, the big trip. And um, then the other bed's just up here. Uh, it's about a full XL, so two people comfortably. Uh, you could do three if you wanted, uh, pretty good. You got these fans off Amazon that work really good. They just get charged off uh, USB ports and uh, they work awesome for getting some more air through here. And then closet in here. And yeah, just kind of have all my clothes in these little bins down here, got four of them. Put all my clothes and then all my other stuff hanging up here, some sweatshirts, ski coat, ski pants, whatever, some flannels, of course. And uh, yeah, just kind of got random stuff in there. And then all my battery storage and my inverter and everything are down here too. So I'll pull this off and show you guys the battery compartment. So my camera guy, Jaden, was slacking and forgot to record the battery compartment section. So uh, here I am a couple days after editing the video and uh, I'm gonna show you the battery compartment here. So, what we got is two lead acid, lead acid uh, batteries, 190 amp hours each, and then a 3,000 watt inverter, and then that runs my fridge, and then uh, induction cooktop, and uh, stuff like that, or whatever computers. Uh, and then here, got battery on off switch, all fused up, and pretty simple, straightforward. There's another fuse block down there. Uh, and then yeah, got diesel heater here, got the Victron Energy um, charge controller, and that's really nice because I can uh, control it off my phone. Got a fuse fuse block here, and then yeah, everything's all fused up. And so yeah, then for the bed too, I got these like these rock climbing holds uh, here, and uh, get into bed like this, boom, boom, and then yeah, just jump up in there. And then uh, I got these awesome like Velcro things. So these just Velcro to my uh, carpet on the walls. And they're really cheap on Amazon. And I didn't think they were gonna work that well, but they actually work awesome. So I've got these scattered all around uh, just for putting random stuff in. Got a hot spot, white claw koozie, uh, radio. Uh, and then up here, got these uh, open up, random stuff. No, I don't even use half the storage in here, so. I'm just all moved in by myself now. And then got bookshelf kind of up here. Got a little Bluetooth speaker. And uh, this, this opens up too. And then got a bunch of storage up here. And this is my most prized possession of all that keeps uh, me and everybody sane on the road. A little vacuum and just vacuum up super nice and easy and keep everything clean that's been a game changer got a fan too oh just a bunch of random stuff up there 
And then, oh uh, yeah, this pass through here closes like that. And um, this is kind of in the way, so this just goes like that. And then uh, I can block off my windows and then get everything nice and nice and dark in here, block out of the light if it's night. And uh, so yeah, this works really good. This came, the van came like this with this in here, so didn't have to cut that in or nothing. And it locks like that. Got coats. Uh, yeah, fridge in here too. Pretty decent sized fridge. And uh, windows open that and then water tank so then my sink right here got running water uh, super simple system here got uh, three tanks this is my gray tank this it just drains into the gray and this is a fresh tank and then it just got a garden hose quick connect on it and it just goes down in there and then water pump and then an extra fresh water tank and then, yeah, it makes things really easy on the road, kind of take these in wherever, gas stations, especially in the winter when a lot of the water spigots are shut down. Take these in, get these filled up. Uh, got the design off of Van Life Customs out of Denver. Uh, so shout out to those guys, because that design has worked really good. And uh, yeah, I got storage underneath these seats too. Um, like all that, I got these drawers. These drawers never fly open. They're uh, the self-closing hinges or slides, and they never have flown open. Got a big drawer up top, and then got a charging drawer here. Got a USB hub thing back in here, plugged in, so I can charge all my camera batteries. And it's kind of a mess right now, like it always is. But yeah, all these work really well, and uh, yeah, been been really happy with the van so far. Had it for a year, it took me probably two months to convert it out to like 75% and then I slowly worked on it after that and it's finally about done now. Uh, but yeah, I got these awesome lights too off Amazon. Just like nice little under cabinet, they just stick up top. I've never really, I've only lost them like once or twice when it gets really gnarly bumpy. Then you just charge them with USB so you don't have to run wire to anything. This makes, makes things easy, uh, makes a nice light at night too reading or whatever and um, yeah got all my lights are on dimmers the zone the bed zone back there is on one I can dim them and then the ones up top here are all on a dimmer too Let's get those you know roof vent and then water pump and then heater and calendar of course then got some some uh, charging over here too for charging computers and stuff and um yeah there's also one up here on the bed yep got some back there on the bed too and then two more cupboards here more cupboards here and um yeah everything honestly i uh, took a big road trip uh out west up the coast of california oregon washington on the adventure box series on my youtube if you want to check that out and everything was awesome uh i got a pass through door here too to get to the garage and uh yeah get back into the garage the heat's heaters ducked out there too and ducked here and yeah i got insulation havelock wool insulation uh two inches behind all the walls and the ceiling um and heat heat's really good it keeps heat really well usually we heat the van up before we went to bed and have the heater off all night and then wake up turn it back on and that was seemed to be good it didn't get too cold so i was really happy with that and uh, other than that, I think uh, got some custom countertops from some wood, local local wood. Made all these myself. Yeah, I made everything in here myself, pretty much. So this is my third van, box van. Box, box van's the way to go. Uh, makes everything way easier. I've converted a ProMaster and a, a normal Transit high roof extended. And this was definitely the most fun, the easiest and you get the most space out of it too it's like a little over six feet wide on the inside after i added an inch to the walls to get more insulation and so um yeah it's awesome box fans are awesome it doesn't suffer with gas mileage too much so so yeah but the van is for sale um i'm gonna sell it i want to upgrade to something a little bit bigger not box wise but just chassis wise i want a little bit bigger chassis so i can pull some trailers and uh 
yeah, I just want to be able to pull trailers and pull bigger loads and um, have a little bit more power too. Um, but other than that, this has been the Adventure Box Tour. So, hope you guys enjoyed it.